Volunteers will be responding today to flood damaged areas across Metro Detroit as the cleanup continues this morning. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live in Dearborn Heights. And that, of course, was one of the hardest hits by last week's flooding. And Matt, what does it look like right now? Well, gone are most piles of trash that were lining Hanover Street. Every once in a while, you'll still find some of the homes that have that waterlogged material out front. But because GFL came through here on Saturday, a lot of this is now gone. The reality is the shift is away from the damaged goods, and it's really started to be the homes themselves that are damaged. Don't forget, there was a lot of basements that took on a whole lot of water, especially here in Dearborn Heights. Most of the people I've been talking to, they're talking about two plus foot of water that was in the basement. In some cases, locals told me they have a basement that just means the main floor took the brunt of the damage. That means there's still a need for help and today Red Cross is making sure that help is available. It's going to be a little different today too. Instead of calling on locals to head to the Red Cross, today they're bringing the help right to their doorstep. That means cleaning supplies like bleach, gloves, mops, trash bags, masks and more. That's all going to be distributed to affected areas including Dearborn Heights, Allen Park and Inkster by mobile vehicles. You can also call ahead to get help if you're one of the 3,000 plus folks affected by the flash floods from this past weekend. They got a few numbers I posted online, but the simplest number you can remember is 1-800-RED-CROSS. Once again, that is 1-800-RED-CROSS. And we put all that information online at WXYZ.com so you can find it. But in the meantime, the folks that have stuff like this, yeah, they're going to wait for that to be picked up. But the homes, the memories, all that stuff downstairs, that is the thing they have to worry about because mold and when that that can set in. That's what people are worried about. Bleach and cleaning. That's the next step for a lot of the folks out here in Dearborn Heights, as well as Lincoln Park in Inkster. And we're live this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.